We shall start with examining why the medical device industry generally shows resistance towards clinical research and try to spend as little as possible on obtaining clinical data. The cost of health care has increased enormously in the last decades, and this has forced health authorities to cut costs and prioritize treatments. Thus, it is a marketing necessity to demonstrate the cost effectiveness of a device. Its comparison to similar devices has become vital for the placement of a new product on the market. A strong resistance to allocating adequate budget for clinical research is still very much present in the device industry. Many of us have often observed or experienced companies, i.e. from startup to large corporations, take the path of least resistance by following the quickest and cheapest regulatory path to obtaining the CE mark. The end result being, that they are legally allowed to market the device in Europe, but unable to sell for lack of clinical evidence. This approach is so common that it is titled the empty CE mark syndrome. Receiving the CE mark is regarded as just a regulatory obligation by an often short-sighted board of directors, who later realize that clinicians, patients, and health authorities, not to mention potential corporate buyers, want to see solid evidence of clinical effectiveness and cost-benefit ratio. Consequently, a new clinical plan must be implemented at a later stage. This increases the time to market of the product. The initial shortcut does not pay off. The image of the valley of death is often used to describe graphically the lack of continuum between development and marketing. Government ministers use it to lament the gap that should have been seamless cooperation between academia and industry, thus delaying the exploitation of discoveries and therefore economic growth, and private enterprises use it to lament the gap between R&D and commercial departments. Here you have a graphic representation of the Valley of Death. Investment and efforts are on the y-axis. Time to market are on the x-axis. More often than not, R&D and marketing are disjointed and do not coordinate their ideas and efforts. A product can be perceived as ready by R&D before their marketing colleagues are ready to position it properly. It is important to note that the more to the right the blue curve, marketing and sales or commercialization is, the longer time to market will be, with consequent need for further clinical studies, and therefore forced increase of investment and loss of profit and loss of clinical benefits for patients, of course. 